Hey there, it's Jim. It's uh, Friday. We got uh, about eight days or so till Christmas. Um, so I was just going to uh, show some of the muffler mods that I've done for some of the Husky 5 Series saws. Um, when they come stock, <clears throat> the uh, muffler is kind of cumbersome and it holds a lot of the heat uh, in over top of your... Uh, crankcase um, it actually runs through the bottom and then kind of back out so there's a quite a process there for the exhaust to actually um, get out and so it does superheat this muffler it's also quite heavy um, on my stock one <clears throat> I cut a lot of this bulge out of the back here um, so that it would allow the exhaust gases to basically go straight through um, the other theory I had was that opening this up would also allow a little bit more airflow underneath it and not heat soak um, the crankcase as much on that end. This saw, you can see I've put a lot of the frog skin vents on it. Um, it's a really fine mesh that uh, is actually for uh, snowmobiles to uh, improve cooling around their clutches as well as uh, airflow for their intake side. So. They're quite a durable thing. Um, I did also put a few more vents in. These ones were pretty notorious as well for uh, vapor locking. Um, the 550, 555, 562s, and even some of the 572s do it. Um, I'll cover some of those mods in another video. But I'm just going to show that. Um, <clears throat> for my 562, it's a little bit of a hack job, but... Um, the muffler or the um, saw I took in is just kind of a um, trade for some work I was doing on a another saw, and so it wasn't complete. It didn't have muffler or a bunch of other stuff on it, so I I ended up having to fab one up anyway. But um, one thing with these is uh, instead of just being able to use a nice chunk of square stock or something, you actually kind of have to make a a um, bit of a manifold um, just because of the angle that the uh, cylinder where the exhaust port comes out is at it's up quite high so um have to kind of run it down and out um <clears throat> anyway yeah so but uh this one's just kind of straight through it um has about the same size opening hole as the uh exhaust port is and um on the 555 i did one similar to it um both of these have screens available and um, this one doesn't have it in the last time i ran it was in february of 2020 and uh she sees that day so but this one's got the screen in it um but same kind of thing pretty much straight out this one does have a um, aluminum baffle plate in it with a bunch of holes drilled basically so um but anyways yeah so like i was saying there you do need to build a bit of a uh, an exhaust manifold for it to come down before you can do something. This is what I did. Um, a lot of people know that aluminum dissipates heat between seven and ten times uh, better than steel does. It's also way lighter. Um, so for both those reasons, I feel it's a it's a worthwhile investment doing uh, aluminum exhaust systems on these saws. Um, I'm just using kind of a a Lincoln MIG Pack 140 with a um, wire feed on it. So uh, anyway, a little more practice with my welds, but uh, this was over a year ago, year and a half ago, I guess, when I did these. So, but anyways, yeah, the uh, like I said, the other one is just to cut this out and then reweld the back plate back on. But um, anyway, okay, not babbling. Have a good one. <clears throat>